do the first one. Use a chain rule to find BWDT. Oh, should I give you guys some time to work on it? I think I'd like to do it together. Okay, how about we do it together? So we try to find BWDT, right? Okay. Uh, what do we have over here? Okay. We have W over here is a function of how many variables? Three. Three variables, X, Y, and Z. Okay, so you can try to think about the tree diagram, right? So you have W, and then you have X, Y, and Z, right? This the three independent variables, okay? And then X, Y, and Z are functions of T, T okay? So <clears throat> this variable T, okay? So you can have think about this in terms of the tree. Now I'm trying to find, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find the the word here, this, with respect to t, right? Then, what, what will be the formula? Looking at the tree diagram. Partial w partial okay. x. So, it will be partial w, partial x, and then times what? dfdt. dfdt, good job, okay. And then plus? Partial, partial w, partial y, times what? dydt. dydt, okay. And then what? Plus partial W partial Z. Yes. Parcel W partial Z times DZ DT. Right? Okay, very good. Okay. Once you get this formula down, right? Then you know how to do it. Okay? The rest here is just take parcel duality or take duality. Okay. Okay. So let's put down the formula together. So that will be parcel W. Now after a while you kind of see the pattern. You don't need the tree diagram. You can imagine that. So parcel W parcel was the first um, intermediate variable, which is X. Okay. And then times DX DT. Okay. And then plus parcel W parcel Y times dy dt okay and then plus also w also z which is the third variable and then times dz dt right i think the most important is that you know how to set this up okay okay good now once you have this okay Let's try to find uh, parcel W, parcel X. What is that? Okay, so what's parcel W, parcel X? What does it look like? W equal this, right? So when we're trying to find the parcel that will be W with respect to X, you're going to fix the rest of the variable, right? So we're going to fix what? Y and Z, right? Okay, so let's, let's consider y and z as constant. Then that will be easier, right? So if y and z are constant, then e to the y divided by z, would that be a constant also? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So what's the, what's the derivative of this with respect to x? One, e to the y over z. Over z. Okay, good job. Okay. So e to the y over z over here. Yeah, you just did it, okay? All right, uh, since we're doing so well, how about we continue to find parcel W, parcel Y, right? Okay, so, so what would that be? I'm going to put it here. So what's parcel W, parcel Y? What does it equal to? We're going to think about X and Z as constant, right? So what will be this, the work in this will be back to y. So the x will be, x will be, still x there, right? Because this is uh, this two x over there, okay? And, um, and then we're going to differentiate this one, right? Because the x here is like a constant multiple, so you still have the x there, right? And now we differentiate this part here with respect to 
y, what's the ability of this with respect to y? Think about z as a constant. So you need e to the y over e the to the, yeah, the exponential function itself, right? So, so that will be e to the y over z itself, the exponential function itself. But then by the, by the chain rule, you have to times the duality of this inner function with respect to y. What's the duality of this with respect to y? Mm -hmm. one over z. It's 1 over z. Because it's 1 over z times y. Yeah? So, and 1 over z is considered as like a constant, right? It's fixed. So, times 1 over z. You got it, okay? Very nice. Times 1 over z. Okay? So, you got that part, okay? Nice. Okay. Now, let, let's do um, this one over here. So, I'm gonna, let's try to find parts so, of. Let's try to find parcel W parcel Z. What does it equal to? This time we're going to think about X and Y as constant, right? So we're similar to parcel W parcel Y, right? So the X over here is like a constant multiple, right? So it's still there. So you're going to have X times. Now we're going to differentiate this with respect to z. What would that be? It's, it's this function itself, right? Okay, good. So that will be e to the y over z itself. Okay. But then we have to multiply by the duality of y over z with respect to z. What's the duality of y over z? One well, of negative one. Yeah, so, okay, let's think about this. y over z, right? So, y over z, when you differentiate this with respect to, when you, you think about the z here as a constant, um, I'm sorry, we we'll think about the y here as a constant, right? The, this one here is the same as y times g to the negative one power. Okay. okay, so what do we do here? So when we differentiate this, then the y here is just like a constant multiple. So we'll just put y. Okay, what's the duality of z to the negative 1? Negative 1 over z squared. Negative 1 over z squared, which is 1 over z squared, right? 1 over z squared. Okay, so we've got that one. Very nice. Okay, now you just need to substitute. Okay, so let's let's put this back. Okay, so now we have parcel W. It's not a negative. Oh, I forgot negative. <laughs> good job. <laughs> it's good to have uh, someone who's uh, watching over <laughs> paying attention. That, yeah, that's a negative sign. Just in the, the negative one, right? So it's negative. Okay, negative one over z squared. Yeah, you got it. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, now we can just substitute, right? Parcel W parcel X is this. So let's write it down. So it's e to the y over z, right? And then times, uh, what's dx dt? dx dt, not too bad, right? Mm -hmm. dx dt is what? Three. T squared. Okay, you got it. Good job. So that is 3D squared. Okay. And then plus, okay, parcel W, parcel Y, which is this one right here, right? So then this this way. So it's X over Z, okay, times E to the e to the y over z, right? Okay, and then times, what's dy dt over here? Negative dy dt? One. Negative one. Negative one? Yeah, you got it, good job. Okay, negative one. Okay. 
And then heading, uh, we got this one. Hazard that we have to see. That was this whole thing right, right there, right? Okay, let's put it there. So we have here. So that is negative x y over z square e times e to the y over z, right? So. This part right here is this part. Okay. And then times DZDT. What's DZDT? C, right? It's a C. Okay. Good job. So times C. All right. We did this. We'll move this one. Okay. All right, you got this one. Okay. Uh, we could, can we simplify this a little bit? Can we take out a common factor? What do you notice about this C term? What's it? Do you have a common factor? B to the Y over Z. Yes, you, you see it, right? So you see that they all have this E to the, they all have this E to the Y over Z. And then e to the y over c, and then they have the e to the y over c. So they all have this. So uh, we can take out this common factor. So we take that out. So e to the y over c, we have this. Okay. And then under c, we get 3t squared. There's a minus sign over here, minus x over z, okay? And then um, this one also has a minus sign. So minus 3xy over z squared. And you guys just did it. Okay? It's like you have to take the word here a lot, yeah? But I think the most important part is, first, okay, the two part, you remember the formula. Uh, you can use a tree diagram to help you remember that chain rule. Uh, or you can think about first component, second component, third component, get to that, okay? And then after that, you say, okay, uh, you need to actually take part of the word you did, with respect to each one of them. So you're given this equation. You need to figure out the parts of the word here, this, with respect to each one of these components. Okay, so you list them by right here. Okay. And then all you have to do is, uh, after that, then you just plug it in, okay? I think that's a, this one here. Okay, well, you can do that, okay? So we did it together. And I'm sure you can do it uh, when we, we go home, okay? Okay, let's try number two, okay? So we're gonna use the chain rule to find uh, puzzle Z, puzzle S, and this, right? Okay. So how do we do this? What was the formula? Okay, now let's think about this, right? So the z here is a function of, okay, let's put the z there, okay? So here we have a, the z, z right there, okay? And then the z here is a function of how many variables do we have? Two. Two, r and data, right? So let's put the r and data there. r and data, those are the intermediate variable, okay? And then r and data is, they are functions of S how many variables? Two. Two variables, S and T, right? So you have S and T, S and T, and then um, S and T. So here's a, that's the tree right here, okay? Okay, now, 
when she had these three setups. So you can actually think about the okay. Now over here I'm trying to find what are we trying to find? We're trying to find parcel Z, parcel S, right? Okay. So parcel Z, parcel S. So how do you find parcel Z, parcel S? Let's go down this, right? So what do we do? So you get what? Parcel Parcel D, parcel R, and then what? Times parcel R, parcel S, right? This is one part, okay? So let's write it down. So there will be parcel D, parcel R, times parcel R, parcel S. Parcel R, maybe I should color this, color code this. And then uh, partial S. Okay, good. So this is one path, right? Let's go the other path. Okay, so that will be. Okay, the other one will be this one, right? And then um, this one to get to this S. So. Plus, uh, what would that be? Parcel Z, parcel data times parcel data, parcel S. Parcel Z, parcel data times parcel data. Parcel S. Okay, we got it. I think it's important to remember that. Um, to, to, once you set this up, then the rest is actually this calculation, the differentiation and calculation. Okay, so you got this one. Okay. okay, now remember when you do this, you actually need to figure out the puzzle to do this, we respect to that, and we respect to this, right? So let's put it on the side and then let's do it together. So I have this. Let me put it down here. Okay. Uh, let's try to find. Maybe I'll put it up here so it's easy. Okay. okay. Let's try to find the parcel duality of Z. With respect to R. Remember, to find parcel duality, we hold the other variable as constant, right? Hold the other variable fixed. So we're going to hold the data here as a constant, right? Then cosine data will be a constant, okay? So what's the parcel duality of Z with respect to R? E to the R. E, e to the R times cosine data. Cosine data also, right? Okay, so because cosine data is, okay, so that will be, so I have cosine data, and then also e to the x. Okay, good. Um, let's write down also parcel z, parcel data. So this is equal to, this time we're gonna hold the R here is a constant, and then think about the data as the only variable. Okay, so if R is a constant, E to R is a constant, right? So what what would be this possibility? E to the R itself, right? Times opposite of negative sine sine data, right? Okay, you got it. Good job. Okay. Okay, you got that part. Okay. Uh, well, remember at the end, you also need to find those partial, right? So uh, what do we have over here? I'm going to actually copy this. And now I'm going to put it on at the bottom right here. Okay? So I also need to find, I also need to find the partial duality of R with respect to S. And the partial duality of R with respect to uh, later, okay? So uh, let's put it over here. 
since later I need to find positive derivative with respect to t, how about we we do it later? Um, yeah. So and then let's find the positive derivative of each one of this in respect to s, and then later with respect to t. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. So what is parcel of parcel s? Looking at this. Is it t? Yeah, it's just t, right? Mm -hmm. This t. Okay, got it. Good job. Okay. I'm just draw it here. Okay, what about parcel r parcel t? <laughs> it's s, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. See, you guys got it. You guys are good at it. <laughs> it's not that scary after a while, okay? At first you think it's a little bit scary, but okay. Got it. Good job. Okay. Okay, uh, let's do the same with this uh, data equal to this, right? Let's find parcel data uh, parcel S. Is it equal to? Remember, we try to think about t here as a constant. So, what's the square root of this? So, this is like a, that into the one half power, right? Mm -hmm. so one half times. So, lots of. Okay, so let's rewrite this. So, this is this whole thing to the one half power, right? So, let's just. Use the chain rule for that one. So that will be one half, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One half, and whatever inside to the one half power. Negative, Negative one half power, one half. right? And the one inside was this is s to the six plus uh, t to the six. Okay. Okay. So we dimension outer function, but then multiply it with the derivative of the inner, right? Mm -hmm. So times times um, six the s. The word here is inside over what six s to the fifth. fifth power. You got it. Good job. Okay. So it will be six and then s to the fifth power. <laughs> okay. Let's just leave it like this for now. Okay. Okay, now uh, let's try. Since you're doing so well, let's uh, let's find the parcel data parcel t that is equal to what? It's kind of similar, right? Yeah, <laughs> this thing. is my symmetry, right? Yeah. So it's going to be one half, okay, and then this, um, and then times, but this time it's going to be times what t. Times six t to the fifth power, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good job. Hey, right, with the all of this, we have all the ingredients ready. It's like uh, when you cook, right? You get all the ingredients ready. All you just put it in inside and stir fry it. Okay, all right. Now all you have to do now you got all of them. Then what, what the next step here is, um, you can just right. substitute here, mm -hmm. okay? So um, I'm going to maybe color code this. So you have this this one right here, right? And you can put it in here. And then puzzle all puzzle S. Then you're going to have this one over here. And then we will put it. This one over here, you put it in here, then you get the idea. Let me see. Huh? Is the negative on the one half supposed to be there? Oh, quick. But when we're writing the square root as instead of the negative to the one half power, it's negative on the Oh, is it actually supposed to be negative or is it? Uh, oh, oh, your question here is it negative? Yes. Yeah, because you're taking the derivative well, you of the one half. Well, we take the exponent on it decreased by one. Yeah, decrease by one. Differentiating decrease by one. So subtract one. Yeah. So one half subtracting one. 
then you get negative one the exponent goes on like that. The power of me. Okay. So and then uh what's what's happening here? So and then this part over here is this one over here. Okay. And then uh positive beta positive s. Okay, let's see which one is this one over here. Okay, it's just substitute. Okay, tuck it in to the algebra. Um Okay, so let me finish this now, okay? <laughs> the algebra there. Okay, so let's go down this, and then so that's equal to, and then times t. Watch if I make a mistake, okay? It's, it's very like me sometimes. Uh, and then parcel data parcel s. Oh, I make a mistake. Did I make a mistake? No, not yet, not yet, <laughs> not yet. Never mind. So, positive data positive s will be this part right here. So, that is. Uh, let's, let's put it simplify this. The one half power, uh, we put this to the one half power, put the square in the denominator. So, that will be one of oh, six s to the power over. Yes, yes. Oh, the, the one half and the six here, right? Simplify. So that will become a three, right? Six over two is a three. So how about we just put a three on top, right? So three, and then um, s to the fifth power, divide by what? The square root of s to the six plus t to the six, right? Okay. I think uh, what was I will accept this if we put it this. Uh, however, if you want to take out common factor, what common factor can you take? E to the R. E to the R. Okay, let's take out E to the R. Let's take out E to the R. Okay, so what should I put here? I should put T times minus C that's it. You did it. <laughs> and then the, the, the other one is a similar, right? I think it's kind of like cooking. Oh, you get the ingredient ready. So when you try to find parcel derivative, then you try to you write down this, okay? You get this diagram might help you. So what's the dependent variable? What's the intermediate variable? What are the independent variable? And then how do I get from the part of this, part of that? Okay, so you have those different paths. And then once you have that, you put down the function that uh, you have right here, right? The z here as a function of this two variable. And then you take part of the word here, this, with respect to that, and that, and put it on the side. And then you also put down the, the function this two function as a function of s and t, okay? And then you're going to differentiate them with respect to s, with respect to t, because of that, and you put it on the side. And then afterward, <laughs> you can just put it put it back, right? Yeah. It looks a lot, but then once you get the ingredient ready, you just need to put them in the right place, that's it, okay? You get all the ingredients. Uh, make sure you, you get them, put them in the right place right here. Okay. okay, you guys did it. Good job. Okay. All right. The, the second part, you, you can finish it. Okay. How about we do number three? Okay. Okay. Let's think about, let's think about um, what, what's the dependent variable and what's the independent variable. Okay. So what are we trying to find? We try to find parcel n, parcel, parcel u, right? Okay. So n, okay. N is this right here on top. That's a dependent variable. Okay. So what are the independent variables? N over here is a function of how many variables do we have? Three. Three variables. Okay. P, 
Q and R. Okay, let's put that down. So P, Q and R. Okay. And then um, P, Q and R are function of what variables? U, B, W. U, M, V, and W. w. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Okay. <laughs> U, V, W. Okay, U, V, W. <laughs> U, V, W. U, V, W. Okay, and then um, here you have this. Okay. All right. Let's have this. Okay. Um, let's get the formula here right. Okay. So we try to find parcel and parcel U. Okay, so parcel N and then parcel U. Okay, so it will be this one to U over here. Okay, looking at this diagram, can you give me the formula? So that's equal to what? Yes, yes. Um, let's go down there. So the one, one way to appear is let's use a green. So if you have parcel M, parcel P, right? Times what? Parcel P, parcel Q. U. Okay, that's one part. Okay, let's write it down. So parcel M, parcel P, times parcel P, parcel Q. Okay, that's one. That's one part. Okay, adding it's another part from here. Parcel N, parcel Q, and then what? Times Q. Parcel Q, parcel Q. Now after that, you actually can see a pattern. So next one will be parcel what? Parcel N, parcel what? R. And then times? Parcel R. Parcel R. U. You got it. Good job. Okay. All right. This. Okay, once you've got the formula right, <laughs> you're almost you're almost there, right? Okay. So what do I need? What okay, think about what ingredient you need, right? You need all those possibilities, right? Let's get them ready, okay? Okay. So hmm, I'm gonna put it on this side here, okay? So we have n equal to this. Okay, I'm gonna put it on this side here. And you do this. And what do I need to find? I need to find parcel N, parcel P. Let's just do one of them. Can you get an answer? Okay. How do you do that? What kind of rule do you need? Well, think about Q. Quotient. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a quotient rule, right? If it's a quotient rule. Okay. Good job. So we use the coaching rule. Okay, so that will be what? <laughs> u v prime minus u prime v or v squared. Uh, square, right? Okay. Differentiate the top with respect to p. What do you get? This one, right? Yeah, this one. Okay, one times times the denominator, right? Mm -hmm. This P plus R. Minus. Okay, this time we keep this yeah. keep one. this one the numerator on top. Mm -hmm. So yeah. P plus R. 
A pink has key. key. Pink has key. Okay, and then differentiate this with respect to P. It's this one, right? Okay. Can we simplify this? Yes. Yes. Formula is Q. <laughs> P by a square. The P. Then this is R minus Q, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a simplify R minus Q. Okay. Okay. And you know what to do, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can finish this. Okay. And then you can take, okay. And then you will continue to take parcel N, parcel Q, okay. And then seven N. And then you also get what? What, do you, what, what else do you need? You need parcel N, parcel okay. R. Parcel R. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you need those. Okay, so that was on this top level, right? You need that, right? For this level, you need that. Okay, and then for this level, what do you need? You need parcel P, parcel <laughs> You need the parcel to hit each one of this with respect to each one of this variable, right? Okay, well, after this, you guys will be so good at differentiating <laughs> because you did a lot of this, right? Okay. You know that. Okay, good. Okay, so um, for this step over here, you also need puzzle P, um, puzzle U, okay, and then puzzle V, W, etc. Okay, and then etc. Okay. So you need to get all those all those ingredients. Okay. Then all you have to do at the end is just plug it into the formula to calculate it. So so actually actually it's not too bad, it's just a calculation. Right? And then take into it. Remember that. Okay. Question for this one? Okay. All right, the next one. Number four. Uh, well, maybe Juan is come back. Juan, could you read this? Yeah. The length L, width W, and height H of a box change with time. At a certain instant, the dimensions are L equals 1 meter, and W equals H equals 2 meters, and L and W are increasing at a rate of 6 meters per second, while H is decreasing at a rate of four meters per second at that instant find the rates at which the following quantities are changed. Okay, very right, good. Okay, first let's uh, think about the value. Okay. So okay, let's draw the diagram. Okay. So you have a Okay, so we have a rectangular box right here. Okay. Um the left here is L, the width is W and the height is H. So think about that way. Okay, so value of this is what? L times W times H, right? Okay. So you have the value over here. Okay, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find at the instant find the rate at which the form quantity are changing. So what are we trying to find here? With the change of the value with respect to what? With respect to so time, right? So we try to find rate the change of the value with respect to the time. And in this case, uh, let's call it t. Okay. So. So remember, uh, what do we have here? So we have a value. So L, W, and H, remember they are changing with respect to time, right? They change with, uh, as a time they change. So this is what they say, change at the time, and that's called T, okay? 
So those are L, W, and H are function of T. Okay. And now what are we looking for? We're looking for the rate of change of the volume with respect to T at that instant. At that instant that are given over here. Okay. Now let's try to draw the tree diagram here. So what do we have over here? So we have the volume on top, right? And the value here is in terms of L, W, and H, right? Okay. And then um, what about uh, this and this and this? They are functions of what? T. They are functions of T. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm trying to find the rate of change of this with respect to T. So we can just go down the rate of change of this with respect to T. Then we can just go down the path, right? Okay. So by the chain rule, D V D T. Now because they are all because they are so what here are, this is only one single variable, right? So I can just put D. Okay, what does it equal to? Can you look at the diagram and what does it equal to? Parcel V, parcel sure. L times D, L, D, T. We got it, okay? So, parcel V, parcel L times D, L, D, T. My L is not very good. All right, and then plus, what do we plus? Plus what? Parcel V, parcel W times what? Parcel W, um, not, D, D, yeah, D, W, D, T. Yeah, good job. So, parcel V, parcel W times D, W, D, T. Okay. And then plus, parcel V, parcel H, H, parcel V, parcel H, times DHDT. DHDT, you got it. DHDT. Okay, so that's the formula, right? And uh, in order to do that, uh, what what do, what ingredient do I need? I need I need to find the parcel to right? So I need all this. I need parcel V, parcel L, parcel V, parcel L. So I need all this. Okay. What else do I need? I also need G. I also need all this, right? Yeah. So you just need to calculate all, all of them and then put it in. Okay? Just like this. Okay. okay. I think uh, this is you can oh uh, and the surface area for uh, for part B okay let's just give you a hint okay so for part B to find the surface area what's the surface area what's the surface area for the rectangular box the area of each surface L S W H right. Okay, let's say the front and the back, right, will be what? L times, L times H. Times and you have two of them, right? Two. So you have two of them. Okay. And then plus what? Times width. Uh, L times W, and then plus? L, width. Uh, w times H, H, right? Or H times W. Right? So that's the surface area. The surface area is this. And let's call it S. Okay. So, uh, and then the square similar, right? Okay, what about for plus C? What is it? So, the length of a diagonal. C. What's the length of a diagonal? C. Okay. The diagonal. Yeah, but I can think, right? 
So if you have this to be L, this is W, this is H. So what will be this diagonal over here? And this. We do that. Well, to do that, uh, let's just draw this one here to this help to think about, right? Draw this diagonal over here. Okay, so this part over here is L, right? This is W. So the pink one over there is what? Square root of L square plus L square plus W square, right? But then, because it's a wide triangle. So then what about this one? Is, is it also a wide triangle? Yes. Yeah? yeah. So by Pythagorean theme, this diagonal is going to be what? Square root of L squared plus W squared plus yeah. H squared. Square root of L squared plus H, uh, L squared plus W squared plus H squared, right? So that's the diagonal, okay? So that's the length of the diagonal, right? Okay, so that's the point, right? Okay. okay, and then we know what to do afterward, right? Okay. okay. Uh, the number five, you can figure out. If you do not, then I can get in with you if you have any need. Okay? All right, you can learn a lot. That was a challenge one, right? But after you break it down, it's not too bad, okay?